the plug-in hybrid remains a strange automotive safety blanket. It tries to combine the virtues of both electric and internal combustion propulsion, but, like those who do wear both belt and suspenders, it is compromised by a fundamental lack of certainty. By the standards of the genre, the new Kia Optima plug-in hybrid is good, given the low price of gasoline, though, it feels like the answer to a question that few actually ask. Although the Optima FEV, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, is Kia's first plug-in, it shares mechanical components with the existing Hyundai Sonata plug-in. Kia also will continue to sell a plug-free Optima hybrid alongside the standard Optima sedan, the FEV S154 horsepower 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine works in conjunction with the 67 horsepower electric motor, generator to deliver a peak system output of 202 horsepower. A six-speed automatic with the electric motor replacing the two-board converter drives the front wheels. The transmission is equipped with an electric oil pump in the interest of efficiency. The big difference from the regular Optima hybrid lurks under the rear seats and front floor, a 9.8 kWh lithium-ion battery pack that, he claims, allows the FEV to go up to 29 miles in electric-only mode and to operate at speeds of up to 75 miles per hour without firing up the gasoline engine. Kia had predicted only 27 miles of a range when it revealed the car at the Chicago Auto Show in February. 29 miles is one of the longer F ranges in the plug-in segment, well short of the Chevrolet Voltas 53 miles but 50% beyond the Toyota Prius Prime S22. It takes about 9 hours to recharge using a 120 volt supply but only 3 hours if you have access to a level 2 240 volt connection. Cosmetically, the FEV is distinguished by its automatic active grille shutters, which, according to Kia, reduce the car's drag coefficient to just 0.25 when its louvers are closed. It also has its own lower drag front and rear bumpers in a subtle but noticeable blue tint to both the headlights and the exterior chrome brightwork to set it apart from less eco-minded optimists. Equipment includes the usual battery of energy monitor displays and the economy driver assistance system, Echo DAS, which gives visual and audible advice on when to let the car coast. We quickly confirm that the system S and monitory chimes can be switched off. As is common with plug-in hybrids, the big battery pack exacts a weight penalty. Kia's numbers say the FEV weighs a Rubenesque 3,788 pounds, or 302 more than the regular hybrid and 564 pounds heftier than the Optima 1.6T. The battery pack also robs the trunk of 3 cubic feet of capacity when compared with the standard Optima, but that still leaves a decent 13 cubes. The Costs and Benefits of Redundancy at lower speeds, the Optima FEV disguises its mass well. The electric side of the powertrain gives it the usual instant F response, and even when left in its default hybrid mode, the majority of low-speed urban operation relies on pure electric power as long as the battery has charge. The driveline though s and manage the magic carpet impression that hybrids with variable ratio planetary gears convey under gentle use. But the automatic S depth ratios mean that no s and suffer from slurred transmission response when the driver orders quicker, gasoline-propelled progress. Drivability issues that we noted when we tested the 2014 Optima Hybrid seem to have been addressed, the electric and gasoline sides of the powertrain now work together seamlessly. EV mode is great for sneaking up on pedestrians and for polishing your self-image as an eco-aware consumer. Otherwise, EV mode's main advantage is lower carbon emissions compared with the car's operation in standard EV hybrid mode. Given the growing number of cities that forbid combustion engines in their congested center zones, EV mode is likely to become more appreciated over time. Initial acceleration is reasonable under electric-only operation.
but it tails off early as speed builds, it would take a long, gentle run-up to confirm the claimed dev mode top speed of 75 miles per hour, since anything beyond gentle pressure on the accelerator fires up the engine. In the gentle use that the car encourages, refinement is good, but once the internal combustion side of the powertrain gets going, it proves raucous at higher revs. Try to hurry things along, and you will run up against the unwelcome effects of the Feves extra pounds. Grip levels are modest on the low rolling resistance tires, and the Optima struggles to keep its mass in check when asked to deal with tighter corners or bumpier roads. The steering is both overboosted and completely lacking in feel, so your eyes will have to warn you when the Feves front end starts edging wide of the mark at velocities that would trouble few other mainstream cars. The springs and dampers struggle to control ride motions on rougher road surfaces, even at fairly maddest speeds. Dynamically, the Optima Feb seems to fall short of the Toyota Prius. The rest of the experience approximates that of the standard Optima. The cabin leaves the impression of plastics that were chosen more for durability than appearance, but it offers good space for four occupants. We drove the Eurospec version in Korea. But we know the FEV model due to appear in US dealerships later this year will be in the extreme level with a fairly generous array of equipment. A short range EV. Anyone in the market for a plug-in hybrid should already be aware of the compromises inherent to this neither fish nor fowl formulation. For anything other than relatively short journeys between destinations equipped with fast chargers, that large battery pack becomes a liability rather than an asset. Chevy supports the case for its extended range fault with the assertion that most commuters travel fewer than 40 miles a day, round trip, so a relatively modest range gives owners the equivalent of a pure electric. Kia expects the Optima Feb to earn an EPA fuel economy rating of 99, but once the big battery is depleted, real-world mileage will be worse than that of the standard hybrid owing to the extra mass and essentially identical operating parameters. Unlike some plugins, it can recharge its big battery pack on the move, in the conventional hybrid manner, using regenerative braking and the engine but you do have to be moving at a crawl or idling for a long while before it de replenish meaningful EV range. A driver's usage would have to be heavily biased towards slow urban slogs, covering short distances, to make the math work. As plug-in hybrids go, the Optima Feb is decent, but unless gas prices spike dramatically, the whole segment struggles to justify itself as a mass-market solution. Solution.